welcome back to the channel. Now, to be honest, there's not a lot of news this week, but the show must go on. So, this week in Around the Verse, presented by Chris Roberts and Sandy Gardner, there is a start of the special burn down feature, where they showed us how they're dealing with those pesky bugs, and they seem to keep on coming. There was also a very interesting piece on the new Moby Glass. Now that's some awesome display and uh, well, hopefully we'll get our hands on that in 3.0 sometime in the future. But first, let's go and look at the new burn down feature with Eric Kieran Davis. First of all, Eric told us that uh, at the beginning of the week, they started with 90 major issues that they needed to uh, prioritize to fix. Now they need to fix these issues before they can put 3.0 into the hands of the Evercarty test group. Now we got a behind the scenes look at a developer meeting where they was actually discussing that they'd compiled a build for 3.0 but it kept crashing at startup but they were confident that uh, they could solve this issue. Now it must be pretty stressful for the developers with these bugs and uh, in this segment we got a look at uh, the bugs QA are actually dealing with, well some of them anyway. Now we saw problems with the uh, wheels of the rover uh, where they were actually missing and in fact uh, at one point we saw that uh, one set of the hubs on the wheels were actually detaching when they were hitting a rock on the surface of the moon but uh, the other side seemed uh, well absolutely normal next we got a look at a strange bug where the player or even the AI would go into a random falling uh, well movement and uh, looks like the limbs were uh, going everywhere as well weird well that gives us a glimpse of how difficult uh, well game development is especially when you're dealing with a multitude of bugs now they have knocked the critical must fix bugs down to 78 this week but of course uh, some others will probably uh, come up to uh, boost that number but uh, overall there's a lot more issues in the 3.0 build but uh, they're not absolutely critical to stop the release to the Evercarty. And even these other issues will be gradually dealt with over time. Now Nathan Deersley gave this app summing up to where we are in the development process. Go through this process of things being kind of broken for an awful long time and you kind of work with that. Um, it's like the old saying goes, if you want to make an omelette, you've got to, you've got to scramble some eggs, right? So it's interesting to see the burn down feature, how CIG are trying to deal with all these bugs. And uh, although they're squashing some, some new ones keep appearing and rearing their ugly heads. But eventually I'm sure that they're squashed the majority of them and we'll get 3.0 sometime in the future. It's just a matter of time. And uh, although a lot of people out there aren't happy about the delays, at the end of the day, all we can do is wait. Now the special feature this week was all about the Moby Glass. Now we've seen the Moby Glass before. Um, this time we got more of a look at uh, some of the uh, functionality that the Moby Glass will be able to achieve. Now, first of all, the Moby Glass is this uh, small uh, device which will fit over the clothes uh, on your character. And they also told us that they'd slimmed down the design of the Moby Glass considerably. Um, so, well, it was more streamlined. Now, the Moby Glass uses a secondary uh, viewport system, as we saw last week. And we also saw some of the new displays for some of the ships uh, with that new system. Now what was interesting was that the developers have said that uh, the UI for the Moby Glass has been designed with VR in mind. Now I don't expect to see VR in Star Citizen in the game, well anytime soon, 
but uh, for the future, well, VR is going to be very exciting to see in a game like Star Citizen. And by the time that happens, there'll probably be the next generation of VR headsets out, which should have much better resolution displays and be a lot, uh, well, lighter and sleeker on your head. Now we know that the Moby Glass has multiple functions and uh, applications, but uh, one of my most favourite I've seen so far is the ability for it to show the star map. Now they showed us their current uh, working progress uh, where they are with the star map and the Moby Glass, but also how it looked uh, well when they first unveiled it about a year ago. And uh, we can see uh, f from the footage they showed us how it's uh, increased, uh, well, in uh, clarity and fidelity. Now we also got a look at the Soul System. Now this is obviously work in progress using the Mobiglass display technology. And uh, we can see some uh, waypoints there and uh, the Soul System on the star map. Now. What is interesting about the Moby Glass is its ability to zoom in on the specific points. We can see here Grim Hex and uh, that's going to be an awesome feature to use. Now I've got a feeling that many players, probably me included, will spend a great deal of time in game just looking at their Moby Glasses. I must admit, the Moby Glass is really looking very impressive indeed. Really awesome. Can't wait to actually uh, get my hands on the real thing in 3.0 sometime in the future. Finally this week, we know that uh, CIG have taken the opportunity because of the uh, delays in 3.0 uh, in incorporating some... Uh, extra features into the 3.0 build which were originally slated for later on now i know it's one of the most interesting feature for me is the ability to uh, lock your ship very important and for those who would still like to uh, take your ship while you're not looking they're introducing a breaching mechanic where you'll be able to uh, blow the ship's doors off i guess Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like, and also, it would really help the channel a lot if you could consider subscribing. So until next time, wherever you're watching at that big universe, you take care, and hopefully, I'll see you next week. Bye for now.